Hey everyone, Frozen Blaze here from Super Sibs Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create and use a layout like the ones that we use in our Pokemon Blaze Black 2 and Vault Y2 co-op Let's Plays between myself and like a block. So stick around and check it out. Come on! So, I know when I was first starting out I with the YouTube channel, I wanted to know how to make layouts like Nate Wants to Battle and other YouTubers when they would l play uh, Pokemon Let's Plays. So, I went, did what most people do and typed in how to create Pokemon layouts or something of that order, and I didn't really find any. And the ones that I did find, I they were with programs I didn't have, so it was of no help to me. And... Um, so I figured it out on my own, I tried to figure it out, and I found a way of doing it that seems to work, and uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you. So the programs that I'm going to be using today are Photoshop and Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro 13, I believe, something like that, and that's basically it. So if you have those two programs, then you'll be fine. There's also for, you basically need any kind of photo editing software. So it doesn't have to be uh, Photoshop. You could do it in Paint. You could do it in, there's another photo editing software that people have been talking about that's free. I don't know it. I'll try to figure it out and I'll put it in the description below for you. It's basically the same thing as Photoshop. Uh, also, you could get Photoshop, the free trial, and you could try it out. I totally recommend Photoshop for anybody that wants to do any type of uh, layouts, YouTube channel, graphics, whatever they want to do. Photoshop is my go-to, so I, I totally recommend it. There are ways to get it for free, and you know you can figure that on, out on YouTube too. There, it's, the outlet is right there. But again, that's on you. So, let's get right into it. So let's go, the first things I'm going to show you how to do is to create the actual layout itself. So for example, like this. It's going to be a layout like this. This is a solo this is a solo play, so it's when um, like a blocker and myself have a gym battle during our co-op. This is what we use. So I'm going to show you how to make a solo one. There, you can also have a, a dual one, like what um, I also have that we actually use in our let's play. So this is the dual one. I'm not going to show you how to make that. It's basically the same concept. If you know how to make this, you'll know how to make that. And I'll also be putting in a template in the description below that you can download where basically it'll have all this thing set up for you and you just can put your own background picture, your own font, whatever you want, your own Pokemon and so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. So you're going to want to go into Photoshop or any photo editing software and you're going to go into new, right? And you're going to want to put the pixels down as what your video will be. So whatever the format of your video is, that's what you're going to want the pixels to be. So our videos for our Pokemon Let's Plays are 1280 by 720, which is basically what most videos are on YouTube. So the reason why they're already set up is because I probably have something copied that uh, that I, I have that's those that height. So you're going to go there. You're going to just set that up. Make sure it's on pixels and not inches. If you want to go by inches, you can do that. It's 1.778 by 1. I don't know. I prefer doing it by pixels. You're going to want to make sure that this thing right here, the background contents, it's not at white, it's not at background color, it's going to be at transparent. Because you want to be able to have this transparency so that when you layer it over your videos, it doesn't. it's not just a black blob or something like that. Alright, so once you have that, everything else is just defaults. You're going to click OK. So now you have this beautiful checkerboard screen. So this is transparent. Everything behind this, the, black, the gray and white shows you that it's transparent. So... The first part of this is you want to have a good base. So as you see on, on this one, I actually made this background myself um, with vectors and brush techniques and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to really go into that. Probably if you guys want it, I'll put up a tutorial on how to use brushes appropriately and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to give you the basics of how to make a, a, a layout for your videos. So a good, a good way to start... And uh, that and it actually there is um, a Pokemon uh, theme art behind this, but you can't see it, so it was kind of pointless for me to have it on this. But that's how I started out, because you know you, you want to do whatever's going to make you start to think, like get your creative juices flowing. So some people could use a screenshot from the actual game they're playing. Some people may choose a 
cover art from the, the Pokemon game they're playing, whatever it is, that's up to you. So let's just start out with a random game. Uh, how about Pokemon Emerald? There we go, Pokemon Emerald, right there. So Pokemon Emerald, we're going to go into images, and we're going to look at, see we could put the map, we could put um, the starter thing, we could even put this if we wanted. Basically anything that you think is going to get your creative juices flowing. So for this one, uh, oh this looks nice. Image. Oh, it's kind of small. You want to make sure you get something that it's kind of big so it won't be too stretched out. I think this is somebody's layout. So for this one, we'll just go with something simple, I guess. And I'm not going to go all fancy smancy like I would with my, my mine. Oh, this is nice too. Okay. Let's, let's just go with the starters. How about that? You know? You can never go wrong with the starters. So we'll copy that image and then we're going to take that into Photoshop. And we're going to go edit, and why isn't it letting me paste? Oh, okay, Command-V. So on a Mac, it's Command-V. On a Windows, it'll be a Control-V. It's a basic, basic com concept. Uh, if you guys need help with that, let me know, and I'll uh, try to figure out those questions for you as well. So let's stretch it up so that it's the same like width of the actual thing that we're going to be using. Make sure you click this thing right here. Um, it's a link tool so that it keeps your things in proportion. See if that's not if that's not clicked, you could easily go like this and then it gets all wonky. So you want to make sure you click that so that you can easily just, you know, go like that. So I think this is good. And let's pull it down a little so the Pokemon Emerald thing shows are we actually let's not show the Pokemon Emerald thing for now. Because we you know you might want to put that in yourself later on. That seems pretty symmetrical. So this is your base. Then you can mess with the blending options, you can mess with different vectors, you can mess with different brushes. Like I said, if you want that tutorial, I'll, I'll be glad to do that, uh, a tutorial for you on that. But for now, I'm just going to show you a basic of how to make a Pokemon layout and how to use it. Okay, so we have this. Now how do we get these little boxes here? So what we're going to want to do is you want to first minimize this. Oh yes, and if you're playing Pokemon games, then you should have either Desmute or um, Visual Boy Advance, whichever one, and you're going to want to open that up. So I'm going to open up Desmute real quick. It'll load. Open. And you want to load whatever ROM it is that you want. So let's load my recent ROM. And just bring it up to whatever your playable size is. Because you want to make sure that you're going to be taking the proportions of how you actually play it. So, oh, sorry. Okay, wait until it loads up a little bit, you know, because you don't want to take it when both things are black or when it's like this, because you don't know when this actually ends and when this starts. So what you could do is... Um, okay... What you could do is wait until you get to this screen. So now you have, you have this. It's obvious where this starts and where this begins. So what, I, what you're going to do now is you're going to take a screenshot. So in Mac, it's Command Shift Three, and there it is, my screenshot right there. And on a PC, it'll be, I think, uh, Windows Key Print Screen or something of that arrangement. So there, that's the screenshot for in Desmu. So that's that's my screenshot for Desmu. I have both screens. And if I wanted to go in Visual Boy Advance. I could do that also. And with Visual Boy Advance, it'll only be one screen, so that would be when you're making a single screen game. So I guess let's load this, whatever it is, I don't know, I don't remember. And you just wanna get it you're just gonna wanna get the this around too. So simple, right? So that when you have once you have that, you're gonna open up your let me clip these things. You're going to open up your Photoshop again, and you are going to drag that into it. Okay, so now I have it dragged in. I'm going to place it, and we're going to single out the top and bottom screen. So you're going to take your uh, rectangle marquee tool, and you're going to want to select it. And that looks about right. You're going to click Command C or Control C, whichever one you use, and then you're going to paste that as a new layer. Okay, so I have one layer there. 
And now you're going to take the second bot the bottom screen. Uh, most of the times the bottom and the top screen are the same height, but sometimes they're not. So just for just to be sure, I always uh, do both. So now we have that, we could delete this layer of both of them. So now we have the bottom and the top screen. So you can label them. Uh, this one is bottom, and this one is top. Also, I, I tend to do this just so that it, it kind of makes sense as well in my head. And you're going to move your top screen wherever you want it, and you're going to move your bottom screen wherever you want it. So usually I leave the bottom screen as the height that it is originally. The top screen, I kind of blow it out a little. So you're going to select Edit Free Transform, right? And then you're going to make sure you click that little uh, link tool and you're going to just pull it out and set it up wherever you want it. You could have it down here, you could have it up there, wherever you want. Um, I think over here is good and it's kind of protruding into this so I'm going to just make it a little smaller and there we go. So that's where gonna, that's going to be where my top screen is going to be and that's where my bottom screen is going to be. Okay, so let's move this over a little too because I didn't realize that before and we're going to now blow out this screen. So again, select uh, Edit, Free Transform, or what you could do is just with this, with a tool like this, I oh know, with the uh, this selection tool, you can just select the bottom part of that, and then click the link, and blow it out. That's a little big, so I'm not going to blow it out that much. Maybe like that. And then blow this one out a little bit too just to make it look better. There we go. Again, you don't even need to have your bottom screen if you don't want to have your bottom screen and then you'll have all this extra space here. <clears throat> okay, so once we do that, now we're gonna take, select this magic wand tool. It looks like a magic wand. It'll stick with like sparkly stuff in there. And you're gonna select the top screen layer and you're going to not select the inside of it because if you do that you're not gonna really get the whole thing. You want to select outside of that box. And then you're going to right click and select select inverse. Now it's selected that box itself. So now you're going to go to layer one and you're going to click delete. Let's hide this. And now you have that transparent layer, transparent section in that layer. So we're all good. That's where your top screen is going to come through when you layer this on top of your footage. Now let's select the bottom screen. Again, magic wand tool, select outside, right click, select inverse. Select the bottom screen, click, click delete, and there you go. Again, we have another box. So this is where you can add your font, you can add anything. Oh, okay, initializing type tool. So this is now you can add your font, you could add your little uh, Pokemon things. So I already have that set up here. So I'm just going to show you how that works a little. So here's my logo right here, and I made that out of different layers so you can see that there's a bunch of different things here I've, I've condensed them all though because I do that on a different screen I do that on a different uh, what's it called a different document and then I put it into here but you could just do it right on this document I'll show you how to do that um, and let's get the pokes shall we so I have this thing set up I like to condense all my things so you could just put a poke thing here that's a little it's a little weird. Okay, let's, let's do do do. Oh. I'm just gonna make that smaller. Oh. So now we have this pokes section over here. You could click write, you know, team or whatever you want to write. You know, just select the text tool, put it wherever you want. Oh gosh, it's huge. All right, and then team. Well. I am obviously going crazy here. Oh. Sometimes I don't realize how small this actual file is. I'm used to doing things on like huge files. No, let's do it on let's do it at three and we're gonna make it let's make it something that's easily easily viewable. So black, area black. I hate area black, but let's just, we'll just do that for now. So, there you go. Team. We have our team there. Okay. 
and then you just put your pokes in there and then you'll have your logo right here so let's say we are doing Pokemon okay too big still too big so we're doing Pokemon Emerald. Right? Let's play. Or something like that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, because uh, Strong Void doesn't have this little tool right here, so that's why it changes that all the time. There we go. So, Pokemon Emerald, let's play. You could name it whatever you want. I'm just doing it quickly. Like I said, I'm not going to go into the, you know, details of how to make a logo and everything. If you guys want that as a tutorial, uh, feel free I'll, to ask for it in the comment section below or email me. It's up to you. And I can do that for you. Let's make this the colors itself. So, like I said, you know, I'm not going to go into the things. I'm just doing this really quick just to, you know, kind of make it look presentable. It's going to be a rough thing, though. See the Pokemon? Um, I mean, you if you use uh, Photoshop and you don't make use of all these things like Stroke, Inner Shadow, and all that, you're really doing a disservice to yourself because it's so simple. And let's make that emerald, actually. Why not? Something like a little greenish tint to it, shall we? Uh, there we go. Let's do that. So, there we go. Just I mean, it's really simple. I'm not... I do a lot of, you know, other things with it. Like, I put, like, a satin over it and stuff like that. Um, so, it's not going to look pretty right now, obviously, because I'm not really going into it. But this is just a base thing. And you can have your badges over here. And so on and so forth. I like to put, like, little borders around it. As you can see over here, I have borders placed around it um but this is again just like a you know a base mat of how you do it so once you have that set you're going to want to save it so you're going to click file save as don't click save well you could click save if you haven't saved it already i say save it as a p a photoshop file while you're making it just in case something happens but once you want to save it like this is your finished product you're going to want to go to file save as and you're going to go into png Okay, if you select PNG, that's going to keep it as a transparency. If you go to GIF, it's just going to make it white or it's going to make it your background color. So make sure you do PNG. So that that's saved like that. I'm not going to save this because it's ugly, but um, like I said, it's just a base. So for example, I save this and I'm going to go and take this onto the Windows computer, which is like a box because he has the editing program, Sony Vegas Pro, and I'm not about to buy it again and put it on my computer, so, and I don't think they even have a Mac version, so whatever. But, um, so I'll see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, so I'm back on, uh, like Blocks PC. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up Sony Vegas, uh, Pro 13. Uh, if you don't have this, there's ways to get it. Also, they have a free trial where you can try it out. So, um, this is the program that I use. I, I had it for free, so... I mean, it was already on this computer, so this is why this is the one I know how to use. So this is it's it's a really it's an easy program to use when that for these kind of things. So um, definitely, I would say get it. I wouldn't say to pay money for it. So if you could get a trial, do that. Um, or if you know you have a friend that has it, feel free to you know ask them. They'll, I mean, any nice person would give it to you. So anyways, we're gonna get right into it. So what we're gonna do is um, not sure why that's open. So what I'm going to do is we first need to get the, uh, basically the footage from the recording on, from the Desmu. So what you're going to just do is you're going to drag that into, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13. Uh, I always say no all the time. I don't know why. Uh, so anyways, here's, uh, the thing that comes up. It's his top, it's his full screen. It's both screens. So what you're going to want to do, like, for example, if you play it, it'll it'll play what's going on and everything so oops okay um 
So what you want to do in order to get the two screens separated is you're going to just right click right here and you're going to click duplicate track. Okay? Simple. Just right click and duplicate track. All right. So then once you have these two different things, you're going to select either the top or the bottom, whatever. I usually uh, uh, label them. So I'm going to name this one top and I'm going to label this one bottom. Uh, it's usually harder uh, when it's uh, two different uh, accounts going on at it. So, you know, it's top one, top two, top, bottom one, bottom two. And then this is audio. Uh, I don't ever really, unless I have two different audios coming in at once, that's the only time that I usually uh, name that. But anyway, so now we have the top and we have the bottom, but they're both the same screen. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the top or the bottom, whichever one you want to do first. And then you're going to go to tools and you're going to go to video and you're going to go to this thing called video effect video event pan crop okay this will allow you to crop the video that you just recorded so what you could do it's really simple is you go to 4.3 standard tv aspect ratio because that's going to be basically what desmu is uh if you have a different thing like if you want to get two different screens that are let's say widescreen tv aspect ratio then that's what you use you use whatever you going to you need for to make it the right size so that's the right size you just exit out you don't have to click save or anything and you're going to do the same thing for the, bo the, t the bottom one except you're going to select the bottom screen so again go to tools video and then a pan go to 4.3 standard and line it up hold on sorry there you go lined up uh, and then just exit out and now you have two screens but again, they're on top of each other and you want to be able to put it in the layout. So what you're going to do now, now that you have these two screens, is you're going to right click again and click insert video track. Okay, so now you have now you have a place to put something, right? To layer it on top of. Also, the depending on where this is, that's where it'll be. So you want always number one to be your layout because you want your layout to be on top of your videos. You don't want your videos to be on top of your layout unless you're using a layout where you can do such, uh, such a thing. I, I think f putting your layout on top of videos is much better than having them the, the videos on them because uh, you, you'll know for sure what you're cutting out of your layout then rather than having not being sure like maybe you're your video is covering something that was is required, you know, pretty important to you, like your border. <laughs> Although a lot of people don't think that's important, but to me that's important. So now we're going to look for the layout. I think, I think it's on his, yeah, it's on his, uh, it's on his thing right here. So this is a this is just basic layout um, for a solo battle. And see, as you can see, it's it's set up so that it's the size of the video itself and that's because we put it in for whatever the size of the video itself is going to be so in this case it was uh whatever it was by 720 and we're just gonna drag this until the end of the video so that we have it going from the beginning to the end if you have a lot of cuts then you're going to want to make sure you you cut it out whenever you need to be cutting it or if you're going switching between screens you're also going to uh change the layout as you need to <clears throat> okay so let's see the top screen uh, we want to get the top screen into this big area right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this. And with this, you can now... I don't know why it's so huge all the time. I always have to close it. Uh, with this, what you're going to do is you're going to just... This is going to uh, let you make it bigger or smaller. And then you just pull it over. So... Oh, this is this is bottom screen. What? No. Is this top or bottom? Oh, it's top. It's top. Okay. Um, so we're going to just set it up so that it's the right size. One of the things I don't like about this program is that when you make... There we go. So that, that looks pretty good. One of the things I don't like is when you go like that, it doesn't just pull it this way. Like It just makes the whole thing bigger. Uh, so again, you don't have to click save or anything. Just exit out. You do the same thing to the bottom screen. The bottom screen is much smaller. So... You're going to, oh, of course, of course I pick a time when the bottom screen, there we go. <laughs> I always pick a time when the bottom screen is so dark to be, oh gosh. Uh, oh, there we go. Easy fix. Um, all right, there we go. 
So you're going to just do that and you're going to size this as you need it to be. Sorry. So that looks about right. So again, you're going to exit out and then now that's it. That's how you do it. And now you'll have your both your things playing. Okay. <laughs> um, so you have your, t your top and your bottom screen and that's how you use your layout. So uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and let me know if you want any other tutorials dealing with this sort of stuff. Um, Oh yeah, and then to render, you're just going to render it as and do all that stuff. Um, so that's how you use your layout. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, let me know what kind of tutorials you may be wanting, what you're looking for. And I'll, I'll if I know anything about it, I'll, I'll be sure to post it up. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye.